Uh, hey YouTube. So, um, in this video, I just wanted to share a solution I have because I've been working. Uh, my new editing program is Pinnacle because I got a Dazzle for a little company I'm starting. I'll, I'll have an ad about that later on, although it's mostly local places. But, um, anyways, as I'm working with this software, I'm noticing uh, it has a reverse effect, which is nice to have an in software reverse effect. But it doesn't reverse the audio, which I sometimes want. So this is a solution I've come up with that's more tedious, but it's going to work. So I'll show you. First of all, if you're working with um, uh, Movie Maker, this is a great program. Video Time Reversal, free. Um, it's by uh, Xander Webs, I think is the site. Yeah, xander.free.fr. The original site, it used to be in French, and it deterred a lot of people, even me, when I first saw it. But then later on, um, he started translating in English and getting more people, and I was I used it for a little bit, for the first shooting video. Because I'm editing the second shooting video with Chris, my friend. But, so, um, this works, and this will work for this scenario here, but it's better to have an in-program reverse. Because in this case, I'm like playing normal speed of the shot, then going back in time and then playing it slow motion, the effect that I want. And so, yeah, but I also want the audio reversed, too. So I could do that, but then I'd have to get rid of everything and export and stuff. And uh, this makes it, this will make it faster. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I've already done it for most of this, but I'm going to do it again for here. So uh, this right here, see if I can zoom in a bit. So we, there we go, a little preview there. So we can work. And, um, and as you see there, I shot. As you saw right here, this is the reverse right here. So what I'm doing basically is I'm isolating the reverses so I can get rid of the audio. Then I'm going to export this, convert it to uh, the right file. So I have only the audio of this. And in Audacity, I will reverse. I will do the reverses there. So basically, I'm moving these down to a separate track and uh, realigning them. So I've got that one selected. Now we need to go where the next reverse is, which just to check it, it should be here. The shotgun. A little bit of slow motion. Yep, there's a second reverse. You can hear me talking. And I'll need to reposition things when I'm done for some of the audio. So I'd recommend if you have like audio overlay and stuff like that and other sound effects, don't do that till after you're done getting reverses done. So this is my second reverse. So I pick this one. And then I'm going to hold down shift and pick this one here. And it's like all of them. They're in orange now. Bring it down to here. And then this one I need to realign, so I'm going to pick this, um, go down to the other end of this here, pick this, and move it. Oh, and by the way, I'm using Pinnacle Studio for Dazzle. I just used the one that came with the Dazzle, because I don't want to spend any more money and like buy their other software. But I looked at it. Their other software looks nice, has a lot of features. It might be what I end up using eventually, um, although... Probably not. For some reason, it's not moving over. It's not scrolling like it. I think it's supposed to. We'll just do this. And snap it into place. Then, so here's our other reverse that I was talking about. The we shotgun. This one. A little bit of... So, take this. Our slow down clip. And then, uh, we go to the end here. Select it again. And we pull it down, like so. And the end one here, we didn't have extra stuff coming up because it's the end here. So I'm going to go ahead, pause, and finish this. I think I have maybe one or two more to do, and then I'll show you the next step. Uh, another thing, too, is um, if you've already done a whole bunch of reverses, you do all your reverses first. You're not exactly sure where they are, but one thing to tell is... Um, you see these uh, striped lines on the top here? Those are the special effects we've added to the video. Um, so for reverse, by the way, just show you here, speed, and then it would say add here um, instead of edit. But this is where you pick all your reverse and stuff, and that's the, that's the dialogue for that. And I might do a tutorial on that later on. I've seen some other ones out there that will be good enough. But basically, so you can tell because it will have this above it. You know there's an effect there. And if there's two of them like this, and then this, and then this, it's probably where it reverses. If you're doing like me, where you play, I'll show you a demonstration right here. Uh, pick this, so see. Probably it's not going to have to do anything. Just throw them away. Reverse. Slow motion. So, get the idea.
Oh, one more thing before I export. I just realized I selected everything. And because I did that, if you guys are following me exactly um, for this, you're going to have to take the reverse and drag it up. And, but either way, it's going to be, as you see here, the same same amount of work. If you drag it all down to the bottom track and drag the reverses up, as opposed to dragging them down. But it might help in knowing what to select, but either way you do it is good. Another thing, too, I wanted to point out, um, a reason why you might want audio with the reverse. If you've got, like, a, a reverse CD scratch sounding, whatever they call it, sound effect, you can use that, too, if you want. You know, add a little bit of effect there. But I like, for this, I wanted original audio. But this is a place where I really want it, because as you see here, this is okay. this, then reverse. And you can kind of tell that it was a reverse of the original clip. But it's a little bit more difficult. It's not so obvious as you have fragments reforming a clock or something. So that's why you might want the original audio reversed. Alright, now we're on to stage two. Let me just zoom out a bit. So as you see, we have several clips on the top track. A lot of clips on the bottom. And we have um, this other narration down below here. Which, um, I'm really quickly going to hit save. Save my progress here. And I'm going to get rid of this so that we have a clear and easy work in Audacity. So I'll pick this, and I'll pick my first narration. And make sure you save before the narration and don't save afterwards. That way, if anything happens, you can go back and not lose your narration if you've done it. But hopefully you'll do the reverse, and then you'll not do it. Uh, not um, And then you'll, you'll record, sorry, you'll record the narration afterwards. So what I'm going to do... Uh, oh, sorry. Um, I did not... Okay, I did not see that. So we go forward, just tell, and... There we go, muted. No, I didn't see that. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go somewhere where I know there's a reverse just to test this. So like right here. And as you can see, we have no sound, and there's no sound here, too. Now, the final thing that you need to do um, is, again, working with your reverses. I like to do this afterwards, so when I undo, I have only a few undos to do. But you want to go speed, edit your speed, and undo that reverse. So now, as you see, we've got audio here. This way, we can reverse it in Audacity. So I'm going to go ahead and do it for all this, and we'll go to the next step. Okay, um, now that I've done that, um, that is all complete, and this is all good. So now what I want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to export this. And click Export here. And then I want to click Start Export. And, um, well, let me just see really quickly. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. If this had, um, like, export to MP3 or WAV, I would totally do that, but it doesn't. So, let's see, S-H-O-T-I-N-G, shooting 2-A-U-D-I. That's what I'm going to call it for now. And, um, actually, hold on a second here. I need to change my settings. So, um, let's go under advanced settings really quickly. We want to make sure that our audio is going to come out good for this. Um, but, it doesn't have to be perfect. We can just, a oh wait, audio. Yay. Dude, I love you. Okay, wave. I'm not sure the difference between the two. But we're going to let this go. And then, let's see. Okay, so there is audio here, so I should put two there, shooting two audio reverse. So, I'm going to let that, oh, it's done. Wow. Okay, so, um, close that out, 
and close that out. Now what we want to do is just go ahead and hit Control Z. See some changes happen. Just keep going until this is unmuted. And we have our narrations back. And I'll go on to the next step in just a second. Okay, so now we're in Audacity, and as you can see, everything's blank except for where the reverses are supposed to happen. So if we click on this here, control click. Pretty nice, huh? Yeah, it sounds good. And I realized the reason the program went so fast, which is kind of surprising, but it went so fast because we were only exporting audio, and that's the only audio that we had um, viewable, so, or actually playing. So we're going to zoom in. Now what you want to do, we do not want to just click reverse, because that will reverse the whole entire timeline of the thing. So we can get a little bit closer. So what you want to do is pick click the area where your audio is. If you have one to two seconds of blank space, a smidge of it, it's fine. Then go um, reverse. And this should work. But if it doesn't, then we can get even more tedious and chop up the audio in the program and match it up that way. But let's see. Play that one more time. Sounds nice. So I'll come back when this is... One more thing, too. I just realized you don't have to go up to the effect menu and pick reverse. You can just um, select your little area. Like so. And hit Control R. And that's repeat effect, but it works great here. Okay, that's done. So I'm going to now export this as shooting to audio reverse. I saw something weird go here. I'm not sure if that was my eyes or if you guys saw it too. Um, yeah, just put it in my documents for now. You can leave that blank because it's not going to be like on Emily's phone as an album. So now we're going to go back to here, click import. And I don't want to be here. I want to go to documents. Uh, uncheck all and don't like there's another way to import which lets me use the S key but this doesn't so we click start import and now um, I don't know that they give you any extra AV tracks in Pinnacle Studio for Dazzle or audio video tracks but um, so let's try Something here, we select this, and I should nope. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I couldn't find any way to add um, an extra track in here. There was one thing that looked confusing. So basically, what we're gonna do is this: select everything before it, duh, drag it up. Now, we know that this was everything until this space. Uh, be right back. So I found the solution. Start from the back end. Work your way forwards. And so I've already done some of it in tests. We do this here. What's going to happen? I'm going to drag this up. Uh, hold on a second. Let me just undo that. Like this. Okay. I'm going to drag this up. Make sure it's not for this, but as you see... This thing jumps over weird. Don't ask me why, but it does. So then, click this. And click on any one of the clicks and drag it till it snaps. And then repeat this process. I'll be back when I'm done. Alright, go back to the beginning here. And drag this one till it matches up. And when you're done, hmm, shouldn't be any weird spaces. There was one spot where I had to fix a weird space in between some clips, but I fixed that. Everything looks good. Yeah, you want to check your work after doing this crazy process. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this down onto here. And just run a test and then call it quits for this tutorial here. Um. Okay, lined up in the beginning, no more, no less. It looks a little funny here, as you can see, but well, let's just check it. So. Whoops. Sorry, I have my speakers for my headphones turned down low so I don't hear myself and start talking slow and sound weird because I have problems talking when I'm hearing myself. Here we go. Back a little more. 
subscribe yeah. on this channel and enjoy. That right there is acceptable. That is quite amazing. I'm very pleased with myself. Zoom in a little bit more. So as we can see, it starts just barely on. There's a smidge before it, but who cares? That is close enough to satisfy my needs. So I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. It is kind of tedious. And if I don't find a way to add any extra tracks, then I might have to do sound layers. Because I've got... I do have the narration track, which is added when I started narrating the voiceover. So I could add other audio to this too, presumably. And But if I was doing like a film and I need to reverse and sound effects and multiple layers of sound effects, I'm going to end up doing layer system like I did back with Movie Maker. Well, yeah. But still better better than this i don't do reverse quite often and you know i can even trim this up if i have to i can get rid of only everything but the audio there and have it so that i have more room for effects and get two layers maybe i don't know let's let's look in like a layer system but it's still better than movie maker i'm not having other problems that i had with it and it's basic but uh yeah you know that's it so um i will have later on a tutorial in this program for uh, stop motion pinnacle studio ultimate and other versions do have stop motion but in pinnacle studio for dazzle it's going to be a little bit different but it is possible i did a quick test so i'll be showing you guys that later on thank you for watching bye